at what point in this market, you know, say some of the people that do like to swing trade, spot trade, when is it okay for you to take some profits? Uh, well, it's good for you to take profits when you're up, you know? So yeah. basically if you have an injury point, like let's say you bought in around $30,000 or, you know, in the, in the, over the summer or $33,000 or in this, you know, the, the bottom here, then you're sitting on some nice profits right now. And, you know, you got to consider taking that. Now, of course, you may have some long-term bags. Maybe you got a position at $7,000. Well, in that case, it's really up to you. It's just what, what you want to do. You know, what happens is people will see the price go up to, let's say, 69000 where it was before. You start counting all the money that you had, and then all of a sudden, the price plummets. You're like, man, I wish I would have taken money out at, you know, that price point when things were really high. But the problem is everybody's feeling good. Market's pumping. Nobody wants to do that because you have prospects of it going even higher. But when it does drop, people always wish that they had taken more profit. So I think really developing a profit taking strategy to where, you know, you say, uh, you know, I'm going to take out X number of, you know, X amount of crypto when price gets to, you know, this price. Or, uh, you know, I think that's a good way to do it. I think that not going all in on one strategy is always going to be your best thing. So if you are the type of person you're sitting there like, oh, God, should I pull all my money out? That's, that's probably not what you should do. You should probably pull out some here and there. And then over time, um, you know, you're going to reap rewards from that because generally people that are willing to sell all of their crypto, they're doing it at a bad time. And people that are, you know, um, I, I guess, oh, did I lose my AirPod here? Can you still hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, th the point being here, take profits, take them early, take them often. But if you're at, you know, $69,000 where you bought in at, then, you know, it, it may not make sense to take profits right here. You, you may want, because you don't have any profits, you may want to look more at long-term hodling. Um, that way, you're eventually going to get your money back. And then if you have other disposable income to buy on these dips and lower price points, then, you know, that that's probably what I would do.